What's up guys? Here with another video. Kinda had a crappy day today, so sorry if my energy level is a little bit low. But uh anyway. Um I just wanted to show you guys how big my female pastel is getting. I've noticed it's getting pretty damn significantly big. So look at that pretty pastel girl. Like I've said before in previous videos, I've seen some pastels that are pretty browned out. I've seen some pastels younger than her, very browned out. She seems to be holding her color very, 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 very well. So, I'm very happy with how she's going. So, um, yeah, today I took three animals to the vet. Three animals, um, the three most recent animals that I've gotten. So let me show you guys which animals those were. Okay, so let's start off with the vanilla cream. Let's grab that vanilla cream real quick. Oh, you're warm. Far warm, bud. So I took the vanilla cream in. Let's see. Another animal that I took in was the lesser. I took the lesser into the vet. No health issues or nothing. I just wanted to make sure they were healthy. And uh, I wanted to see if they can get them sexed. Because like I said, I got them here for a pretty good deal from a local breeder. And he did not know what the sex was of these animals. Just, just judging by their behavior, I kind of figured this is a boy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a boy. He's a very pretty pretty lesser high quality lesser you can just tell in the quality he's uh he means business um not very many dog bones on his on his dorsal um very white 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 belly which is typical in lessers but yeah so i'll throw him in there Okay, and there's one more snake, another snake that I recently just got that I took into the vet today as well, just to make sure she was okay on health, and that would be my uh, yellow belly, so she's not under there, which means she's going to be back here. And she can be kind of snappy, so I got to kind of move in quick on her. So, uh, so yeah, these are the, uh, these are the animals that I took into the vet today. So we'll start off with the big snake and you can get down from there. So really, bud, really? Okay, so we'll start off with the vanilla cream. The vanilla cream, um, according to the vet, uh, says it's a male. She couldn't say 100% uh, for certain because according to her, she it's still not big enough yet, which I think is kind of ridiculous because she did try to probe the yellow belly, which is... Not even, you can tell just by looking at it, it's not even a 100 gram uh, ball python. Uh, the lesser, she uh, she was pretty sure was a boy, is a boy. Hold on, guys, let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, kind of a off-topic thing, but I'm a big boxing fan, so I don't miss fights. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah. So we're looking at um, the vanilla cream being a male, um, the lesser being a male. I do have the paperwork. I think I left it in my car, though. The yellow belly, according to her, was just too small to determine. So they put it down as unknown. I personally think it's a female. Um, the experience that I have with um, sassy, you know, snappy snakes um, as babies, uh, each and every single one of them have been female. So I have a feeling that yellow belly is a female. Um, I won't know until tomorrow. Because tomorrow... At a local pet store in Eugene, Oregon, town next door to where I live, um, uh, some youngster, some guy comes in with a probe kit and uh, he charges five bucks a pop and he probes the snakes. Um, he, I've had him probe two snakes for me in the past. Uh, granted, they were bigger than these guys here, but... I don't recall him even 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 um, saying anything about you know a snake being too big or too small to probe. So I think it, he he should be able to do it. I mean I've seen breeders uh, probe snakes um, fresh fresh out of the egg. I mean just if you guys have ever heard of Chris Hardwick um, out of Colorado, he he probes them fresh out of the egg. Um, <clears throat> so I don't see what the problem is. I understand how it might be a little bit less, uh, a little bit harder to determine if it really is a boy or a girl, um, when probing a snake that's that, that's that young, fresh out of the, um, fresh out of the egg. But anyway, so it's looking like we got lesser male, vanilla cream male, and, uh, in my opinion, the yellow belly is looking like it's going to be a female. I won't know 100% until tomorrow. Hopefully when I go to Eugene and have that uh, one guy probe him. And uh, yeah. So let's get that out of the way. I'm tired of uh, making 37 minute long damn videos. So let me put this guy back. Sure, yeah, yellow belly. There you go, bud. There you go. So, we'll let... I'm gonna say her be... Just kind of let her do her own thing. Give her some time. She was not a happy camper when we got to the vet. She was just, yeah, not happy at all. So, anyway, while I'm putting these guys back... Um... One of my subscribers, um, I was getting to, getting to talking to him. Seems like a really cool dude. Um, has some beautiful snakes. Um, I checked out his um, Instagram channel. You guys, uh, I really highly recommend uh, you guys check out his Instagram. It is new underscore Mexico underscore Royals. Um, if I'm wrong, I will correct that and put it in the comment section. But uh, he's got some beautiful mid uh, mid white pies. He's got a uh, beautiful female clown and um, a few other beautiful, beautiful snakes. So, yeah, let me let you guys look at that lesser. Damn, that is a beautiful lesser. Awesome, awesome lesser. All right, so I'll put him back. They've had a long day, so. All right. So, hmm, let's see. Since we were talking about pies, I'll show you guys my my pied, my female pied. She's kind of snappy herself, but hey, I own her. She doesn't own me. So this is my female pied. She is a low white pied. And, uh... Like I've told you guys before, I do like mid-whites. I'm not a big fan of uh, high-whites. I do like mid-whites. Uh, mid this is, as you guys can see, a low-white pied. 
So, um, yeah, hopefully someday, maybe from, um, maybe even from, what's his name, uh, New, uh, New Mexico Royals, maybe someday I can buy a, a pie from him and produce some, uh, mid-white pies. For now, um, as a future plan that I got for her, I have an Enchi male hat for pie. And um, I'll show them to you guys real quick. But yeah, that's the pie. Let's see. Enchi hat pie, 100% hat pie. And his name is Santi. Let's see what Santi, let's see what Santi's, Santi's about. Let's see what he's doing. And here he is. So here you got a uh, Enchi, male Enchi, 100% Hetford Pie. Don't believe me? Well, let that belly smack you in the face. Yeah, that's 100% Het Pied male. So he will be bred um, to the pie bald when he's up to size, which won't be too far from now. I do not power feed my snakes. I just don't think it's appropriate. I think that they should grow at their own pace. These guys are opportunistic feeders. And uh, from the research that I've done, if you power feed a snake, if you power feed your ball python to try to get it to breed faster, you um, you got a chance. You got a pretty good chance of significantly lowering their life expectancy. So that's not cool. You know, don't do that. So just so you guys know what these dates are, it's basically uh, what I'm gonna do from now on. I am going to just basically write the date that the snake ate. Just makes it a lot easier for me to keep from getting confused on when the last time a snake ate what uh, was. Let me show you guys this. This guy this is a very, very, very sexy snake. Look at that. This snake right here is just beautiful. This is a banana spark. So, future puma maker for me right here. Future uh, banana clown maker for me right here. Just an amazing snake. Look at the look 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 at that. You know, I've talked to him uh in previous videos and I just can't get over that. You know, the strong purples in them. Uh the way the the spark gene is kind of washed out the speckling on them and just how intense those oranges are. Damn. Just a beautiful 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 animal. I'll let him go for a swim cuz he's feeling kind of dry, not because the humidity isn't right. As you guys can see, there is condensation from the humidity. And if you guys uh, don't believe me, I'm running kind of low on water, but bam, there you go. So yeah, that's the banana spark. And I got to oil my, uh, my snake rack. As you guys know, my snake rack isn't... Um, isn't necessarily uh, Freedom Breeders' latest edition rack. Um, but hey, you got to work with what you got, right? Let's see. What else I can show you guys real quick? Show you guys Nala. Nala is my leopard. Nala really likes to hang out in these uh, leopard gecko. Leopard gecko uh, hides. So that's Nala right there. Beautiful leopard. Beautiful leopard. And uh, just know, guys, um, yeah, they are my snakes. So for those of you who think, well, of course he's going to think they're all beautiful. No. Just so you know, I do take my time looking for the animals that I'm going to buy. So I call them beautiful for a reason. Because I think they're beautiful. Pretty simple. There you go, girly. And this is a female leopard right here. Looking like she might be getting ready to shed, actually. Kind of, kind of fogging up a little bit. All right. So there's that. I want to keep this video short. Um, I'll show you guys one last snake. Um, well, first, 
Let's get Jazz, my pastel, some food. Because she is getting to that size where uh, she's going to be able to breed. So I want to make sure she, when that time comes, she has more than enough reserves. So, rest in paradise, rat. You're fine, bud. You're fine. So, uh, that's all she wrote. So, yep. So, yeah. She will have no problem eating that rat. Meanwhile, let me see if I can try to fit this hide back in there. I doubt it without disturbing the snake. I'm not going to do that, no. Oh. I'll wait till she is done eating. Alright, so while she's eating, let me show you guys another snake real quick. This is an orange dream fire spider that I plan on breeding to a uh, yellow belly calico. And uh, she is a beautiful, 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 beautiful snake. Look at that. Look at that. Orange Dream Fire Spider. Just a beautiful, beautiful snake. I'll back up, give her some space. Let you guys look at that. What I love is that it's kind of like an X at the top of her, uh, at the top of her head, and that spot at the tip of her nose. She's not a spot nose. Not to say that spot nose snakes have spots on their nose, but. Maybe maybe a few of you guys out there just assume that a spot nose snake will have a spot at the end of its uh at the front of its mouth and no that's not the case. But yeah, this is a gorgeous orange dream fire spider. The orange dream and the fire just go amazing. And she will be bred to a yellow belly calico. I'm just waiting to find the right one. But anyway, let's put her back. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So I'm not going to, I'm not trying to sit here and feel myself with my own snakes. So there she is. Show you guys my clown real quick. Come on, Billy. Where you at? Let him see you, Billy. There is the clown. He's a beautiful clown. All right. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful clown. Got him from Omni Serpents. Omni Serp Serpents. Something like that. And yeah, he's a beautiful, beautiful clown. My buddy, uh... Um, from uh, New Mexico Royals. Um, he also got his clown from Omni Serp Serpents, I believe is what they're called. So let me put him back. I got their card. No, oh, that's Red River Reptiles. These guys right here. If you guys are looking for some clowns, these are the, the, this is where you want to go. These guys and they, they these guys produce some amazing clowns. So, yeah, I'll let you guys take a good look at it. Get the phone number. Get get their info. And yeah, highly highly recommend their clowns. Don't believe me? Look at that. Beautiful. So yeah. Alright guys, so that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted to keep this short. Um, main event's coming up, so definitely want to 
want to see it. want to watch that fight. Let's check on Jazz. Rodent has been taken care of and looks like she's already getting started, which is good. Want to get as much fat reserves on her as I possibly can because she will be the first uh, female that I breed. More than likely, it'll be to that uh, male clown, which is the biggest male that I have. And, um, yeah, guys, so that's basically what I want to show you guys. I'd show you guys the paperwork um, for the yellow belly, the vanilla cream, and the uh, lesser, but I left it in my car. So that's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, any boxing fans out there, Jesse Vargas and Mikey Garcia are going to be duking it out here soon. Personally, I think Mikey Garcia is still too small to fight in the welterweight division, but, hey. Yeah, so anyway, any 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 question that any questions that you guys might have, please put them in the comment section. Um, I really do enjoy uh, answering your guys' questions to the best of my ability. I've said it multiple times. I'm not a, by no means an expert. Um, by no means uh, been doing this 20 plus years, like Nerd or some of these other big some of these other big dogs in the ball python industry. Um, but I started, but I literally started from the bottom, so, you know, just a guy that walked into a pet store, looked at a ball python, somebody said, hey, you want to hold it? I held it and, uh, thought, you know what? I'm going to get one. Um, I, I wish I can show you guys a picture of when I got home. I literally got home, put the box on my bed, opened the box as cautiously as I possibly could, and I literally took a few steps back and I just stared at the snake I just stared at it like whoa how am I gonna get it out you know just t brain you know my memory was just running a million miles an hour on what I was gonna do with it and uh anyway I had that normal for I don't know I want to say a good I want to say a good five uh, four or five months ended up getting rid of it and um Decided I wanted to work with some morphs, get some, you know, get some cool snakes in. Not that normals aren't cool. Normals are beautiful as well. But anyway, guys, I'll let you guys go. Please, um, I invite you guys to go check out new underscore Mexico underscore Royals. Um, like I said, if I got the name wrong, I will put it in the uh, comment section. So yeah, please go check him out uh, on Instagram. Show him some love. He's got some beautiful, beautiful snakes. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Please like, possibly even share. Uh, and you most definitely must subscribe because there's more content on the way. Better quality. And um uh, just better snakes, nicer snakes, egg cutting, you name it. And the cool thing is, if you're a day one, you're going to be able to see it happen. Um, basically, seeing it happen from when we first started. When we, you know, we're just getting started. So it'll be a cool experience for all of us. We'll all kind of learn together type of a thing. So yeah, guys, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys go on that note. And uh, yeah. Have an awesome day, guys.